Ken Follett shot to fame with his best-selling book, Eye of the Needle. Now, after 40 years, he returns with a contemporary geopolitical thriller, Never. The first response after finishing Never is never should this happen. Yet the book brings us face to face with the somber and chilling fact that nuclear holocaust is not as far away as we think it is. Never weaves together the narratives of a US president hampered by contemporary electoral compulsions, a CIA agent in Shad, and a high-level Chinese intelligence operative in Beijing, all working to avoid a nuclear holocaust. Never is a big book, all of 800 plus pages, and is crammed with incident and action. However, despite the many plot lines, the narrative stays the course and does not become overcomplicated. Cleverly, the book starts with random incidents and pieces together how seemingly unconnected acts in different parts of the world can push the globe towards oblivion. It also demonstrates that positions like that of the POTUS are not as powerful as they were some time ago. Never paints a grim picture of how the future of the world is not driven by data and intelligence, but by the egos of leaders who put muscular national interest over the interests of humankind. Never is pacey and frightening, and it shows us clearly that men and women with extreme power often do not think hard enough of the unintended consequences of their actions. For my song analogy today, I have King Crimson and the song Epitaph. Confusion will be my epitaph as I crawl a cracked and broken path. If we make it, we can all sit back and have a laugh, but I fear tomorrow I'll be crying. That's it from Booknook Shorts. Do like and subscribe to our channel, and we will see you next week with a review of Jayashree Sundar's Don't Forget 2004.